everyone is talking about prompt engineering rag and ai agent but here is the truth even experienced data scientists are confused about when to use what i asked hundreds of them but the answers were all over the place in this video i will break it down so simply that by the end you will know exactly which one to use in a project and why most people are making the wrong choice i am sumit kumar das and welcome to skri neuron if you are new here make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss future deep dives like this in this video we will cover what is prompt engineering and different strategies of it what is rag agent and their workflow and then we'll see some real world use cases and the decision framework when to use what and some of the common mistakes which data scientists generally do Before going into prompt engineering, let's understand what is an LLM and what it does. Imagine an LLM as a brilliant student who has memorized every single book present in the library. If you ask them any question, they will give you the answer purely from their memory. It's a superpower text predictor trained on a massive internet data to generate human-like text. Models like OpenAI GPT, Anthropic's Cloud AI, or Google's Gemini are all the examples of LLM. Now the way you interact with the student is through something called as prompt engineering. You give it an instruction which is called as prompt and the LLM will respond it. But here is the twist. The better the more structured your prompt, the smarter the answer you get. That's why we use strategies like few prompt prompting or chain of thoughts which push LLM towards better reasoning. But there is a big limitation. LLM can only know what they are trained on. If you ask them on your private data or extraterrestrial data, it cannot. It it is clueless. So here, rag comes into picture. Rag means retrieval augmented generation. Now imagine the same student, but now have the access to the books which has not memorized. Also, that's rag. Rag is equal to LLM plus external data. Let's say you have hundreds PDFs of private documents. on which llm has not been trained upon for doing question and answering on such documents you need a rag system rag that retrieves the most relevant text and feeds them into the llm for giving you a better personalized answer let's see how a rag workflow works step 1 is preparation of data take your documents like pdf websites or text file or whatever and break them into bite size chunks chunks you can think like small size paragraph of a document the paragraph size pieces that makes sense on their own you have to chunk in such a way that it should have a proper meaning and the next chunk should have relation with the previous chunks for example you have a 100 page document you can divide it into 200 page uh, 200 chunks or 500 chunks depending upon how your pdf structure is next step is embedding convert each chunk into a matrix of numbers also called as vectors these are called as embeddings It's like giving each piece of text of paragraph a unique set of numerical representations because models only understand numbers. And so embedding means converting each chunks into a meaningful numerical representation called as vectors. And now third step where we can store these vectors or numerical representations of the text what is called as embeddings. For that we need database but it will not be as normal database we need vector database this vector database can store vectors and there are some popular choices like pinecone chroma fiss wave 8 or even cloud support some of the vector databases like azure ai search or aws kendra now next step is query time now when user ask a question first what you need to do we need to convert the question into a embedding format using the same embedding model which we have used to convert our document into vectors now the same embedding we need to take and compare in the vector databases where we have stored our previous chunks in the form of embeddings or vectors now the comparison will happen between the question embedding and the chunk embedding and the relevant chunks will be get extracted from that so this is the retrieval part of the rag Now once you search for the most relevant chunks from the vector databases for the question embeddings now we need to feed those chunks along with a question to the llm this is what augmented of rag is you are combining your relevant chunks 
which is come extracted from the external data with your question. So question plus chunk that is augmented of data. Now you need to provide this to LLM and LLM will give you an answer. This is a generative model so it will generate the text. So that's why it is called as retrieval augmented generation. At first step you are retrieving the relevant chunks from the vector databases depending upon the question and then you are augmenting the question with the relevant chunks which you have extracted from the first step and then combining this question and the relevant chunks LLM will generate an answer for you which will be personalized to your external documents. It's same thing what happened when you upload a file to chat GPT and ask question on them. There are various frameworks in market available where you can build this rack pipeline from scratch. Next is AI agent. AI agent you can think like a hiring virtual assistant who can think, plan and use some external tools if required to perform the task. But it will perform the task step by step with proper reasoning and, and also it can store the memory as well. It does not only answer question, it can also browse the web, run the code, query APIs, send details, analyze data, even can call other AI systems as well. It's like giving a superpower to an LLM who can perform anything with proper planning and reasoning. Let's see how an exactly an agent workflow works. Once user sends the query, the reasoning phase starts. Here, the agent will think about the problem step by step and decides what information or tools or simply an LLM required to give the answer. For example, do I need a calculator to do the math or do I need to do web search to get a status temperature or even simply LLM, I can give a uh, regular answer. Next step is action selection. Based on the reasoning, the agent, agent will choose whether to use internal LLM or to make an external tool called like web search or calculator to perform the action. Next step is tool execution. In the tool execution step, agent will use the actual function call to the external tool with some required parameters. For example, you can see on the screen some of the required uh, function call as if happening to do some various operation using external tool call. Now once the tool call has been happened, the LLM will receive the response from the external tool. Now the next step comes which is observation. Once it receives the response from the tool, or tool call, it will observe and evaluate the information. So what it will evaluate? Is this, in, is this information enough to give the answer? Or do I need to make an, another a tool call? Or should I refine my question or should I refine my uh, steps of thoughts? And if agent thinks more information is needed, it will loops back to the reasoning phase. And if, but if it thinks it is sufficient, it will give the final response. So the agent follows a reason, act and observation cycle until it has enough information to provide a comprehensive answer. This make it is much more capable than simple basic chatbot because it has access to real time data, it can perform external tasks and it can perform regular LLM job as well. Some of the key frameworks like LangGraph, AutoGPT or even QI are available in the market which can, use, uh, which can use LLMs to build such intelligent AI agents. Let's see some real world scenarios. Scenario 1. Customer support chatbot that require access to company private documents. So here LLM alone cannot be sufficient because it cannot access external document. Here RAG will be useful because it can access external document and can give you required answer. But agent also can do the same job but I think agent will be oversimplified here. So here RAG will be the winner in this scenario. Let's data analysis project where you need to analyze sales data and create insights. Here LLM alone can explain concept but cannot access your actual data. RAG can reference your data but and do similar analysis. But agent can actually run the analysis and even it can create visualization and iterate based on the results. So here we have to choose agent. The third scenario, content creation. While creating content, for example, creating blog posts about industry trends. Here LLM alone is sufficient because it has the great writing capability, but sometimes it may give you outdated information. RAG where you can update with latest articles and research papers, it can give you better results than LLM alone. 
but agent can also do the same job where it can do research fact check write and even can publish by itself so here it depends on what workflow you need so that you can choose a, choose the required tool so here is the decision framework my simple decision tree that i used with every client is choose prompt engineering when you need text generation or text understanding and you doesn't require any real time or external data and you want the simplest and fastest solution even sometimes when you have tight budget you can use prompt engineering as well while choose rag when you need to access specific or update external knowledge or you have domain specific documents or you need some current information with crucial accuracy and choose agent when you need multi step reasoning or task requiring using multiple tools or you want to automate some complex workflows and if you have some good budget and some technical resources Now let's see some of the common mistakes which data scientists perform when they're doing projects. Mistake number one: using an agent when lag is sufficient. That time you are overcomplicating and overspending your amount. Second mistake: using prompt engineering when you need only current information. Your users will be get frustrated with the outdated response. Mistake number three, which is the very most common, that is not considering the hybrid approaches. Sometimes lag combined with agent. that is also called as agentic rag can work much better than all of the use, uh, use cases then how to learn all this if i want to learn all this by yourself here is my action plan i will first start with open ai api or any open source llm or even close source llm which you which available in the market and here i will try to understand how prompt or prompt engineering works by giving different strategies of prompts and getting the responses from it In the next level, I will use some RAG frameworks like Langchain or Llama Index to create RAG from the scratch. And once I comfortable with this, I will try to build some agent with frameworks like LangGraph or AutoGPT. Followed by building an agentic RAG. In the upcoming videos, I will create a detailed video on how to build RAG or AI agents using these such frameworks like Langchain and LangGraph, and also will cover some advanced prompting strategies. Now let me know in the comment below which one you are most excited to try and smash the like button and share with a friend if this help you and comment below if you want a future video on how to build a rack app with langchain or create a first agent with langgraph don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming series on rag and ai agents and also some advanced concepts like mcp and a2a protocols thank you have a nice day till then keep coding keep learning and keep growing